If you live anywhere near New York or anywhere near the East Coast, you should do the Hudson River Corridor. It is probably one of the best VFR experiences you can do, even as a new pilot. And the experience will make you a better pilot as well. Also, if you're going up to the Northeast, like Maine or New Hampshire or anywhere up there, this is one of the best shortcuts you can take, provided you follow all the rules. The first thing you want to do is download the Hudson VFR Corridor NOTAM, and this document will pop up. All you have to do is Google the Hudson River VFR Corridor NOTAM, and voila, there it is. Now, the document is titled Kneeboard because that's what someone called it when they loaded it onto faasafety.gov, but I'm going to put a link in the description so it's just a click away for you. So print this out or store it in your ForeFlight docs and memorize this entire document and follow all the rules on it. It's really not that complicated. Just make sure you are squawking and talking. Also, make sure you have a copy of this in the cockpit with you as a kneeboard just in case you need to reference it. For the first time flyer, you need someone with you on this. This isn't a solo first trip. I think this was the third time I've done it and it's still a thrill and it's a quick trip. The corridor only takes about 10 minutes and you can turn around at the George Washington Bridge and head back or continue all the way up the Hudson River to Hudson Valley Regional where the scenery is absolutely beautiful. And when you get there, you can get a crew car, go into town, grab a nice lunch and catch the same awesome view on the way home. So have a look. I hope you do this trip really soon and check this out. Look at all the out. hazard alerts going on the GPS. <laughs> There it is. There's Ellis Island. Statue of Liberty. Wow, look at that. Fair to traffic. Cessna 104 Tango, four miles to the east, overflying the field for teardrop for 36. Fair to. Two two one four Yankee, 1,200 feet, Statue of Liberty, northbound. Over traffic on 44 and in the Hudson, boat base at 1,500, down to 1,000, it'll be southbound. Yeah, <laughs> look at the GPS freaking out. What's up with that? It's oh, you're obstacles. too close. Yeah. Oh, well. There's that helicopter. Look at that. That's cool. Yep. Let's see if I can get him. All right. Where is the uh, next checkpoint? Alpine Tower, I think. Look at that. Next checkpoint is Clock. Clock Tower. I think it's around here somewhere. It's on your side. It's not too far from the clock. Uh, Hudson River traffic. Cardinal 2214 Yankee. Clock tower, 1,000 feet. Northbound. Mark 44, intrepid, 1,000 southbound. Where is the Intrepid? Next one is Intrepid. It's on my side. Right there. Is the aircraft carrier? Yep. Uh, we got to wait to see it here. You see it? Um, I think it's up there on that. It's still a little ways. Okay. Yeah, there it is right there. Got it it, it does, doesn't look like an aircraft carrier anymore. <laughs> Look at it. There's another helicopter. Oh. Yeah, there he There's is. There's one going northbound. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a 1,000 hertz. 1,500 hertz. Look at that, huh? 
Oh, look at that observation deck that they got on that building. That was in a movie. Yeah, I think every building's been in a movie. Ah. Look at that teeny little thing. That's a small building. Two two one four Yankee. One thousand feet intrepid. Northbound. R forty four. Holland Tunnel. One thousand southbound. Helicopter, if you try to fly to two MD 500, we're bearing on OVZ, southbound, 1000 feet. Next one, GWB, George Washington Bridge, correct. Oh, there's Central Park, yep. R44 at the clock, 1000 southbound, jumping to five, headed to the back. Two two one for Yankee at the GWB one thousand two hundred northbound.